Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. And as you can see, Spotty Dog has a dislocated nose. The reason being that. We have a new puppy, so I apologise right now, but I'm having to get rushed to accident and emergency for all these injuries being caused by a nine-week-old monster British and Ridgeback pup. So I apologise for the squeaks and the noises that are about to come. There's nothing much I can do about it. All I can say is you have no idea how bad it can be, whereas this little spotty dog certainly does. She's being terrorised by a tiny terrorist. Today we're talking keyboards. Because a couple of weeks ago I got rather bored with my old Apple keyboard that was getting a bit more difficult to type on. Because so often with these keyboards, I tend to find keyboards last me two years. No longer than that, because the keycaps get worn away and the switches start to get much more uncomfortable, unpleasant to use. Because what happens is most keyboards have a flat latex or rubber mat that the keys sit on. And when you type, the rubber is the spring, if you like, on each of the keys. But these things are not the same. These are old-fashioned keyboards where each key has its own individual spring. They're Cherry MX key switches in these. And the keyboard I picked was a Philco keyboard, F-I-L-C-O, which is a fantastic, fantastic keyboard to type on. Cherry MX switches come in lots of different types. Um, they have the blue and the brown types, which are tactile and clicky and loud. When you're typing, you can definitely hear that you're typing. But these are Cherry MX Browns, which have a slightly heavier spring action. I apologize again for the puppy, but I can't do anything about that. As you press the key, it goes roughly two millimeters, and then there's a slight click, which I will hold up now. And what that means is that as you're typing, especially if you're a fast typist like me, then you can register that the key has actually worked without bottoming out, without having to press the key all the four millimeters down to the very bottom when it hits the bottom of the keyboard. That, for me, works superbly. The best keyboards were always the IBM, I think, DisplayWrite and IBM PS2 keyboards, which had this little click as you were typing. Wonderful to type on. There are other types. For example, what I have here is a mini type of keyboard, which has Cherry MX Black keys. It's the same manufacturer. The difference with this is, as you can see, that it's just the size of the keyboard itself. So there's none of the scroll, print, screen, insert, delete keys that you have with the um, other type of layout. But what you have got is the cursor keys here. You have a much smaller space bar, but on the back of the keyboard, there are a series of dip switches, and you can adjust what each of the keys at the front do here. So, for example, these two blank keys can be adjusted so that they become a spacebar key as well. So you end up with a, a full-size spacebar. This is lovely, but it doesn't have the click. It's just a progressive So you can see the difference there. It's just a progressive keyboard. So this is more suited, I think, to gamers and other people. Um, and it's not, I had to say, um, a battery operated keyboard. It has got a USB plug there. There is a USB cable in here. It works with USB. What I do like about these keyboards, all of them, is that they come with these fantastic covers. I don't know if they're designed for it or whether they're just for transport to protect them, but I find that they are superb dust covers and leave them on the keyboard overnight. 
What do I like about these keyboards? I love the keys. I can type much faster on this than I could on the Apple keyboard ever. I like the fact that it's got good adjustable legs, so you can raise the height to the angle you want, because I can't type with a keyboard that flat. I really like the fact that it weighs about a kilo, maybe a bit more. When it's sitting on your desk, it doesn't move even slightly. It's fantastic from that point of view. Um, I don't like the fact that using this with an Apple iMac, not all the keys work in the way I expect. Um, the obvious ones are where you've got control and alt keys for an Apple keyboard, they're reversed. So for example, if I wanted to um, change software app I was using, I would press that and the tab, and that would tab me through the different applications that were live on the computer at the time. With this, it's the Microsoft key instead. So it's just switched around. The only thing I've found on this that doesn't actually work at all with Apple is there's no volume control. Well, big deal. I've got a speaker that sits there and it's got a volume control on it. So I, I now adjust the volume using that rather than the keyboard. So I'm not bothered about that. I love the feel. Um, I love the way that it works with my Apple. Very, very pleased with it indeed. Now I have to say, I got this from a company called The Keyboard Company. They're based in Stroud, and they sold me this for the princely discount of 0%. Um, however, I contacted them. They were incredibly helpful. They understood what I wanted almost immediately. In fact, they used to apparently supply Terry Pratchett. And Terry, God bless him and rest his soul, used to have two keyboards at a time because he was paranoid that the keyboard he was using might break down and so he was stuffed in terms of writing his current book. I haven't gone that far, but I have got the two keyboards. This one's mine, I paid full whack for it. This one is just for review purposes. Um, but I, it, It's okay, but I wouldn't bother with the blacks myself. I need to have the little click on the keys. So the keyboard company, I'll put a link in down the bottom, if you've got any doubts about the sort of keyboard you think you should be using yourself, whether it be for typing, whether it's for writing a book, whether it's for gaming, whether it's whatever it might be, um, the keyboard company, oddly enough, specialise just in uh, keyboards. And they are exceedingly helpful, um, really very helpful indeed. So give them a call. Uh, I would say beware. One of the numbers they give out is an 0845 number, and that is hellishly expensive. So look them up on the internet, and you'll find there's a direct number for them. That's just a word to the wise. I know, because it cost me a fortune. Um, but Philco Keyboards, very, very impressed, very delighted with it, and it is now working um, extremely hard, helping me type up the current book. And that is all for now. All I will say is there will be photos of this horrible little tiny terrorist there. No doubt photos as she savages my hands. Um, those who, can, who are concerned about the amount of blood on my hands, don't panic. I do believe in playing with puppies as puppies. And uh, she gets told when she's gone too far. And she stops now when she's gone too far. But she's going to be a rapidly growing little monster, much to the horror of Spotty Dog. And you'll see pictures of her as she develops. If you're interested in dogs, that's a delightful joy for you. If you're not interested in dogs, tough. I am. This is my channel. <laughs> so, thanks a lot for watching. You've got videos, previous videos, and all that sort of thing coming up here. And if you've got any questions or comments about things you'd like to see, go down to the comments box, like it, share it, um, tell your friends, all that, you know the stuff. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you soon.